NCAA Division I softball post-game press conference. The regional champions will take a... Yeah. Um, I guess first off, just our whole entire grounds, the committee, I mean, that game was 3 a.m., and it was a lot of people to pull this regional off, so just really thankful for everyone's patience and um, opportunity to allow us to play here. Um, second, uh, there's some pretty good seniors on that group with Auburn, and uh, especially that pitching staff, and it's really tough to see careers come to an end, but that game last night was awesome for Penta and you know, Shelby Lowe and some of the other ones, so um, you know, that's this time of year when you lay out in the field, so a lot of respect for them and the program, and gosh, so proud of these guys. Um, I just like got emotional in the fifth inning and sixth inning, I'm like, holy schmoly, this could actually happen, and um, we've been through it, huh? We've been through it as a team, and we tried to figure out how we could get gutsy, and we talked about having grit, and how do you get grit, and um, I think the pitching staff has been in question the whole season long, and these guys have backed the pitching staff up, and Ashton just stepped up and just been about it, and Mimi in moments, and I mean, Allison gave us everything literally she could give, and uh, so it's just super cool to see the offense and the swings and the relentless pursuit behind the plate to be there for the pitchers. So I'm just really proud that this opportunity to move on is very special. Take questions, please. Um, Michaela and Issa, both of y'all pretty much shifted the momentum with your home runs. Like, what went on to your mind knowing that at first you were coming from behind, trailing two zip, and then it tied to three three. Just what went in the mind before you were at bat, knowing that you changed momentum? Um, for me, I would just say, uh, just trying to get my teammates in. Um, T will give me the go, and I said, you either see this ball and you hit it or you don't. So um, I saw it very clear, and I just swung, and good things happen when you swing. So thanks for T will for giving me the go, <laughs> or else I wouldn't have done that. So um, just super blessed and super excited to have my teammates behind me, and um, in that moment, it was very special. So I definitely just seeing them behind me and seeing my teammates on my left and right was definitely something that motivated me to you know, try and do something and scratch some runs. Yes, absolutely. Auburn's a really good ball club. Like we've said it, like they have a amazing pitching staff. And I think it was just going after pitch one and just bringing it uh, in the beginning of the game. We talked about the energy uh, from the UCF game and how can we get better every day. And that's how it's going to have to like go out through the rest of the season. And what I'm looking most forward to is seeing like how everyone's so bought it. And I think that's the mentality it took for today. And definitely you saw it towards the end of the ball game, but it was their pitch one, um, just needed to work it out a little bit more, but we're still working on that for sure. And I think the swings happen. Um, I mean, the game doesn't know, regardless of whether if you're fourth year redshirt junior <laughs> or, or a freshman. And I think that's super important is that we're all like in and just in our, each other's hip pockets. It's huge. Coach, how impressed were you with what Ash did, both starting and getting thrust back in there? And was Allison okay when she got relieved? Um, we'll find out. I mean, she's been day to day for a month and a half now. So, um, you know, like I said, she's literally been giving us everything she has in her tank. And um, so, you know, I think that's up to the, the doctors as we move forward. But I know Allison can have one arm, one leg, and go out and pitch, you know, with her heart. So she's going to give us what she can. Um, yeah, the plan was to sandwich a bit and, and mix some in and see if we can get some righties and some lefties. And so um, I think when you're you're facing a day three, um, you got to get a little creative. And I think we've been doing that all season so the team understands that and they kind of know what we're trying to do. So, um, yeah, super proud of Ashton, but proud of the, the whole team for just, like Mick says, the, the, the buy-in um, or just like executing the plan. If we can just execute the plan, I, I think that's sticking with it, and that's what really showed up. Coach, you competed against Mickey Dane for, for a good while now, yeah. and this was his last game. Could you just comment on that? Um, yeah, I mean, I've fortunately been around and competing since Radford days with him, and, um, you know, I think he's always done a, a really good job of elevating um, his team, you know, wherever he's been, whether it's Radford or JMU and um, even Auburn, and so, um, you know, he's excited to get on his motorbike and travel around the world and do the things he loves to do as, you know, the the bicycle group, but, um, you know, I think uh, there'll be a time for me to move on to, you know, when you know you could give it your all and give the game your all, I think that's really, really important, and I think he's done that. Thank you. Issa, it's not often that you have a um, game where you have double-digit runs and double-digit strikeouts in the same game. Did it take you guys a little while to adjust to the strike zone and find your groove there? 
Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, you have to give credit to the Auburn pitching staff. They're a great pitching staff. You know, a lot of good pitchers, a lot of, you know, pitch by committee they are. But um, I think that we adjusted well, and I just think that we kept going. At a time, like, you, they were punching us, but we punched back, and I think that's what's more important was our response in that. Um, but they're a great pitching staff. You know, we made the adjustments, and it just worked well for us. And I just think we kept the pressure on every single inning, and through that, we got some runs. So it, it was good to come out with the win. Seems like, Michaela, you guys in the last few games, really the whole season, been relying on the big inning a lot. What happens there? You just get so much momentum that just, you know, hit after hit just kind of kind of keeps going like that? Yeah, I think we've definitely been labeled by the media for the, like, the notorious big inning, which is, uh, it's very true. Uh, it's definitely a part of our DNA now. And I think we're just trying to find a little bit more consistency within that. So uh, a lot of the great teams that we're going to be playing is, are going to going to be pitching by committee and we're going to have to be able to make those adjustments like Lisa said and it's talking about like from at bat to at bat like how can we share the information and grow together so definitely as we um, go into OU um, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> let's uh... If anything happened today we were playing but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was worried about my ball game. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just like working on that piece and staying grounded because we definitely want to see like a little a lot rather than a lot a little uh, moving forward so coach one for you um we've talked in the past a lot about how scouting has advanced and how you're getting more information about teams and all that does that extend to the umpires do you tell the players like you know this guy has more of a wider zone or a smaller zone and you kind of have to adjust control yeah so i mean i think that um, you know, you can get into the game and you can kind of get after it, but we can't control the zone. We can control our swings, we can control our counts, we can control our motions, but yeah. So we don't really get into that much detail on that side. Okay. Do you know, like, beforehand who's going to be the, um, home, you know, the home umpire? Mm -hmm. beforehand? They tell us for the weekend who's going to be here, and then before the game we know who's going to be plate and bases. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, I mean... <coughs> Good game today, maybe it was just few, but we had chances. We had a lot of chances. They had a lot of chances. Like, it wasn't an umpire thing at all. So, um, and I think that's where you want to be in postseason. Right. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? Uh, Coach, y'all had four runs with two outs yesterday in yesterday's mm -hmm. game, uh, seven with two outs uh, in today's game. How cool is that to see this time of year, and then how vital is that for your success moving forward? Yeah, I think um, it's just a testament to trusting the book of work you put in. And um, if you do a really good job of staying in it and not let the – um, at bats previous or the outs dictate your swing, uh, then you know you really give yourself a chance to, to hunt big innings. And I think that's you know Mick talked about it. It's it's big for us on the offensive side, but February and March we were trying to figure out how to do it on the pitching and defensive side. And big innings are tough. Crooked numbers are tough to defend. And so um, when you start to feel that, and you know you get that fight mentality with two outs, it's really hard to shut it down. You know, and these guys definitely have the grit and the fight in that. So I don't think the at bats have led up to them giving up or you know the situation situations that we're in, so it's really cool to see that fight into postseason. Anybody else? Thank you guys Good so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Super cool. Special moment for these kids. <laughs>